to this week's vlog I remembered to say it this time um so quite a bit on for this week um my plan is to um my plan is to get the wool finished so the galaxy wolf um so next month I have a watercolor of this wolf going up in my patreon for my free printable so I want to do a wolf that goes alongside it that I can put in my shop as normal my patrons will have early access to it so if you want early access to any of my work, you can join on Patreon, any tier, um, and you will get that perk. Um, next, I've got to bake my two um, doll heads, so the king penguin and the ferret, so that's on for this week. I uh, also plan to work on the flying fox doll, so I want to get that up and uh, finished as well. Just have to... Um, work with the material that I have um because again retail stores still aren't open here and won't be for a while um and then also refining my little frog so I really want to get that done so I can mold it and cast it uh, and then off well my battery died um so what was I saying oh yeah little frog so I want to do offer some like um to some raw casts of the frog as well so people can paint them up um so yeah just a little bit more refining to do because i think i'm happy with the head i want a little chunky frog so yeah i think i'm happy with that um but yeah so a bit of refining to do which shouldn't take too long and then i can uh start molding and casting um had a shoe bill, a request for shoe bill updates. Yes, it's still here. Um, I just, I have to kind of focus on um, the um, the zoo commissions because um, I want to get them done. So I have to focus on that at the moment. It's taking the main focus because this needs quite a bit of um, time and energy for the body of this. Plus I haven't found any fabric yet because I haven't really looked very hard um, but I'll get there I get there I just have to wait till these are done um, so I can focus solely on this um, because I want to I wanted to sort of needle fell the body uh, and I need to sculpt I need to sculpt um, the feet so that's also take a bit of process uh, a bit of time for the process um, because I want to do it in, in um, cost clay and I haven't used it before so I still need to do a little bit of experimenting with that as well um, so that's why there's not that much progress on the shoe bill but I will get there I promise when um, when these zoo commissions are up and going I guess because uh, I still have uh, five things to sculpt four things to sculpt um, and then I have to put the actual dolls together. So I don't think the fabric will be too far off. Um, it seems to be moving pretty fast from China. So um, it seems to probably get here faster than something that I can get from Sydney. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I got to sculpt two bongos, a sitatanga and the bongo horns and the prairie dog. So it's five things that I need to sculpt. Um, so it'll take a bit of time, the horns or the antlers will take again quite a bit of time to to sculpt, mould and cast. Um, but yeah, we'll get there, so a little bit of time. I have a raccoon body just sitting there as well that I would like to get done, but that will be like a in-between project because I'll probably get it done pretty quickly. Um, but yeah. Focusing on zoo stuff. Um, which, yeah, anyway, that is it for today. Um, and I'll catch you in the next coming days.
update time. Um, hmm. I feel like I should change up my background a little bit. Update. So, Penguin has been baked um, and stuck on a stick. So, ready for painting, I think. Um, but I want to finish sculpting the feet first. So, I haven't started it, but yeah, I would like to sculpt the feet for it first. Um, and... Yeah. Pretty cool. So that's that one. Uh, same deal with ferret. Stuck on a stick and ready to paint. I still need to cast the feet, but um, yeah, ready to rock and roll. Um, gonna be painting up some uh, bat feet today as well. Um, and hopefully cutting out some fabric for the wings and maybe doing a tutorial on it. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It's not really the fabric that I want to use for the tutorial, so maybe I'll wait till um, till I get that fabric. Because I don't know if I'm 100% happy with that fabric. Um, but you never know until you give it a try. Um, little frog did a little bit more refining on the face yesterday. Um, coming along nicely, just more refining that needs to be done. Um, but I've been uh, sketching out some little frog, uh, little frogs, um, which I think I might paint them as watercolors and maybe turn them into stickers or something. We'll see, because um, they're just in my sketchbook. So yeah, might turn them into wall stickers. We'll see how they turn out. I might hate them. <laughs> And lastly, been working on this big boy, um, needs a bit of a trim. I'm not sure if I'm going to be happy when it's trimmed, if it's going to be too big. So I can always um, refine it a little bit more by doing some more sewing. So yeah, we'll see once it's been trimmed and everything. But yeah, so I'm going to do the face. It's got yellow eyes. Um, I'm going to do the face this full color as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I wanted to add some sort of space or starry sort of pattern on them. Uh, kind of like the, it'll be the same, um, what do you call it? My free printable this month is the same critter as this wolf. So yeah, it was meant to be like a printable wolf thing. I'm not making any sense. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I don't have the actual watercolour around, so I can't show you. But it'll be around somewhere. It's a, yeah, like a galaxy wolf style. So it's pink, um, not pink, it's purple and blue. And it's got like stars and um, constellation around it. So that was the concept. Um, yeah, still haven't sculpted my shoe bill <laughs> feet yet. Still going, running out of time though. I, I run out of time to sculpt it, I should say. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the update. Um, yeah. update um today i'm planning on sculpting the adult bongo for the zoo so that's on the agenda and i bet you that's going to take all day um so i doubt that i'll get every anything else done um i have um i wanted to show a couple of little sketches that i did of some um 
frogs that I'd like to do some watercolour because it is Inktober. So I just made some sketches of some frogs. Um, don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, I plan to cover them, colour them in, maybe different colours, stuff like that, and maybe turn them into um, stickers if I'm happy with them, <laughs> which who knows. It can go either way. Um, I filmed a new video on um, the differences on why I choose uh, resin or polymer clay for my dolls, so that's coming up on my channel. Um, I just have to edit it. It's a little bit long, but um, yeah, I just ramble on about why I choose polymer clay for a doll or why I choose resin for a doll, because um, I seem to get a couple of questions on why I use either medium, so I thought that'd be good. Um, next one is I added some faux fur to the wolf, so looking pretty good. I uh, gave it a little bit of a trim. I ended up sewing this a little bit more just to give it a bit more, um, what do you call it, shape. Uh, so it was a bit of a chunky boy. So, um, yeah, I just opened it up here, took out a little bit of polyfill, and then re sewed it up. Um, so yeah, it's not so. And I so I left the top of it a bit longer too, and then the mane I've left it full. Um, and then I'll be trimming this today. So it looks a bit weird at the moment. <laughs> looks a bit creepy, but yeah, I'll trim it up today, and then I can start furring the feet. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Uh, I got the faux fur for the ferret. So it's funny because um, packages from China are arriving to me quicker than getting it from Sydney, which is the next state over, <laughs> um, which is funny. Um, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so I can start putting the ferret together, I guess. I'll have to add uh, more colouring on the legs because uh, it's a black-footed ferret, so it needs to have a sort of solid solid brown legs um, but I don't know if you can see the coloring it's kind of an off-white mixed with um, a brown tip so this was surprisingly really hard to find for some reason so um, yeah I guess I could do a video on like where I find my faux fur that might be something people are interested in um, so let me know in the comments and and what questions and whatever and I can probably make a video on that um, but yeah it was a lot more than I expected so that'll keep me going for a while um, so it's pretty cool it's not bad quality either so I can uh, make a few dolls out of this make a few ferret dolls I guess so yeah things are rolling uh, none of the other faux furs have arrived yet so I'll have to wait but I think I think I'll uh, get started on the ferret. Um, oh yeah, I also want to cut out um, the wings for the flying fox. So that's what we've got here. That's the next one. I still need to paint the feet and uh, the little claws, and then um, yeah, work on the wings so i have the wing process up on my patreon now so it's available for my five dollar and up tiers and i go through the process of how i made the last flying fox fox wings uh and yeah so anyway i will carry on and catch up with you at the end of the day <laughs>
uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna end the vlog for today. Uh, I got a fair bit done this week. Um, so I guess I'll start off with kind of the new doll that will be available um, coming up. So it's another wolf. Um, I'm putting together this one. It's gonna be the it's gonna be a free printable over on my Patreon as well. So it'll be a watercolor version of this. So it's obviously um, looks like a little galaxy. So I'm starting off with um, the yellow eyes. It's, it looks really sort of ominous, I guess, with the yellow eyes. It's it's a really contrasting color. Um, at first, when I applied the faux fur to the face, I didn't like the way it looked, so I sort of, I don't know, added some like star effects, and then it sort of just spiraled into this galaxy type thing, even though the, the watercolour is sort of based, loosely based off a galaxy as well, but um, yeah, I had this idea to add some more stars to the face. Uh, obviously, I'm not finished, I still need to clean it up a little bit, but um, I'm thinking I might do like a more uh, heavily, have more heavily concentrated star pattern here, or a galaxy or something, I don't know, we'll see. Um, you can't quite see all the stars on the fur, um, but there's star galaxy patterns on it throughout the, the body. But I'll go into detail about the process in its own separate video. So, um, yeah, I have to apply some fur to the feet, and then, uh, I think it'll pretty, mi pretty much be done. So, it might be up in my shop maybe in two weeks or so. Um, this Friday I have a bunch of watercolour packs that, um, I've mentioned multiple times going up in my store, so my patrons will get early access to it, um, I yeah, so I think I'll put them up this 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 Friday. I'll have a video on what the packs are going up on Friday as well. Um, so there's five packs, and they all have like a theme to them, and they're most they're all galaxy related. Um, you get one A4, uh, which is like a galaxy creature. You get two stickers, which are printed on matte paper, and you get two A5. A5. A5 um, ori uh, original galaxy paintings as well. So they're all in the pack um, and they'll be $80 each uh, plus the shipping. Um, so yeah, you get quite a bit of paintings. They're all original paintings, obviously apart from the stickers, they're printed on sticker paper, but um, yeah. So that's that. Uh, I got another commission for a flying fox, so um, I'll be working on that as well. Um, but seeing as I'm like halfway through this one and the customer was happy with the color the colorway I decided to proceed with as that as a commission But I'm thinking I might do <clears throat> Maybe three bats that I can put in my like as a shop update. So I'm thinking one fully brown one like a dark brown um, one fully black one maybe and um, I'm think maybe Maybe a brown with the rust colour. I'm trying to come up with like different sort of colourways. Um, yeah, maybe the brown with the rust colour. Neck. So, I'll need to get some more of the fabric, I think. Um, but I'll test out the fabric that I have. So, uh, yeah. This little one is a commission, will be a commission from now on. Um, but yeah, feel free to message me if you're thinking of any sort of commission really. Um, just send me a message to my website um, and yeah, with your idea and I can get back to you with a price and um, all that whiz bang stuff. <laughs> uh, did a little bit of work on... Eee. Well that stuck, didn't it? I did a little bit of work on... Um, Wow, it went all weird. Ooh, it went all weird. So I had this resting on plastic and it's gone all a little bit weird. Uh, yeah, I did some work on the shoe bill. Let me fix this. On the shoe bill uh, legs. 
so because I'm going to be baking stuff anyway so I thought it would be okay to bake these as well so I'm just I just added some claws to the armature and then uh, I'll bake them so that's that that's the exciting news I'm gonna put that stand it up like that um, this one seems to be okay well it was weird I had it resting on plastic and it went all like gooey so I'll have to um, double check that when I go to bake them um, but I just sit them in my pencil case for now because that's what you do right uh, yeah so they're ready to bake and then I can start um, on some cost clay I had a tiny play around with it in the corner just to see how it um, conditions it's a little bit different to uh, polymer clay but I'm gonna I'm gonna do my own separate video on all of that stuff uh, so yeah I filmed the conditioning of it and I'm gonna compare it to conditioning Sculpey original for reference um, I also filmed a video of, um, I don't know if I mentioned it actually, uh, compare, like, why I choose to use resin or why I choose to use polymer clay, so I have to edit that. I, I think I've already mentioned that, so just be repeating myself. And I pretty much concentrated a lot of Friday afternoon to sculpting the bongo, the adult bongo. It's not finished, but... This is what we have so far. Um, the bone structure is completely different than what I normally sculpt, which is great to play around with. Uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty similar to the okapi, but um, yeah, completely different. You can see the bone structure here, uh, so you need to sort of um, carve it out, make sure you get it all right. Um, like I said, it's still not finished. It's it needs a lot more refining. I just added. The ears pretty quickly um, at the end of the day so they need to be refined again and uh, maybe repositioned or something I'm pretty happy with the way they're positioned but um, once the horns go on um, yeah we'll see what it looks like and I also wanted to add some they've got a little bit of wrinkling around the eyes around the ears I mean so I'm gonna be adding some wrinkling so yeah maybe I could do a video on wrinkling or something I added some veiny stuff as well so maybe I'm thinking of doing like a series of sculpting videos on how to like achieve different details so I'd like to do it with monster clay because it's so much easier to work with um, and then I can obviously reuse it so I know I said ages ago I was thinking about doing a video on expressions with eyes and uh, it's been on the back burner for a long time because it, it's, it just takes a lot of time to film something like that. So I think I might do maybe eye expressions, um, a video on that, or a video on how to make veins, um, maybe noses, something like that. So I thought it would be a good idea to do like a series of little videos, um, sculpting videos and how I do things I guess. Um, so yeah. There you go. Um, mouth is pretty cute. <laughs> the nose is a little bit different than what I normally do as well, so that was, again, something different. So I'm thinking of, um, once, I need to refine all this because I'm not adding the faux fur, because I'm using, like, a minky fabric, so it's a bit difficult to add, um, that tiny little fluff to it. So the same with the okapi, I pretty much just painted it because I don't really have so they they have like a it's kind of like a horse I guess and I and um, I'm trying to get it as close as possible to the real thing so I think I'll have to just paint it so that means it needs to be more refined I can't just be haphazard with the way I um, you know do faux fur and stuff on the ones that I'm going to apply faux fur on so you can see how I haven't done the whole thing um, so with this one I'm gonna have to refine it a whole lot more to make it nice and smooth give it any little details that it needs um, and yeah just be a bit more concentrated on the details and stuff um, because I'm just going to be painting it and not putting anything over it um, so that's the good thing with using you know covering your thing with faux fur um, you don't have to be as pedantic with the details um, 
so yeah so little things like flicks in the ear from my fingernails I have to address those um, little fingerprints and stuff like that thing with using Sculpey original is it's very very soft so it does leave um, fingerprints even holding it um, so but the, but another good thing is you can you can sand it so that's that's um that's pretty handy uh, but yeah so I don't know whether to add um, the horns after this has been baked a little bit so it's hard and I don't like start moving things around I know I don't really like working like that because it's so final I guess when you bake things and yeah I, I like to be happy with the entire product before baking um, but I mean I'm pretty happy with it anyway so this is going to be the adult one uh, the antlers are going to be quite long um, which makes the head quite heavy so but I think I'll um, I'm gonna put an armature in it and maybe a little bit of um, aluminium foil just to bulk it out a little bit and make it a little bit lighter so I'll have to use a bigger uh, armature for this one I, I won't I won't be able to get away with using a small one I'll have to use the bigger the bigger armature for this one to be able to hold it um, the good thing is I have some caribou um, little hooves which I think I might modify a tiny bit um, see I just put in a little flick there with my nail um, anyway the caribou uh, what do you call them hooves they're very very similar to bongo hooves I'm going to trim this down just a tiny bit and I'm going to add uh, a little bit more sharp definition to it. So if we have a look at it, um, they're sort of roundy. So I'm going to add a little bit more epoxy sculpt to make it a bit more pointed. But they are very, very similar to bongo feet. That's why I decided to use them. And I'd like to use the resin... Um, over making them with clay because that means they're stronger when you pose them uh, plus I already had these but yeah the strength is what I'm after with resin uh, and because I already have these and all I need to do is just redefine it a tiny bit with um, epoxy sculpt that'll be fine and uh, it won't be so uh, what do you call it fragile with the uh, Sculpey original Anyway, I've rambled on lots. I've also cast some uh, ferret feet, so they should be a good size, especially once the faux fur has been um, applied. So that's where to go. I can start painting the ferret, and I can probably start putting the ferret together because I got the faux fur, as you saw before. Uh, so that's, yeah, a fair bit of work done. Um, and a fair bit of work to do as well. So once that bongo's done... I'll have to do the um, the juvenile bongo, um, but I'll do that after another sculpt. I still have to sculpt the feet for the penguin, so I can probably do that, um, and then I can start working on the penguin, which is fun because I haven't done a penguin before. Uh, painting, I've got a whole lot of painting to do, but I think I'll do that when um, I've done the bongo. Uh, I've got the prairie dog to do, which I think that might be the next one. Um, and I've got the Sitatunga to do as well, which, I don't know, maybe I'll do s prairie dog, um, baby, baby bongo, Sitatunga, and I have to do the antlers, the replica antlers for the bongo as well. Um, yeah, but, and I'd like to finish my um, Galaxy Wolf as well <laughs> there's so much to do busy busy with not a lot of time in the day uh, but luckily I'm working from home so I don't have that whole travel time wasted because I usually take almost three hours travel time out of my day when I work on site so yeah lots to do anyway um thanks to my patrons for another month of support this month I had the wings process 
video for the flying fox go up so that's a whole like 25 minute video of the whole process that I've um, that I did for the flying fox wings so if you want to know how I did that check that out uh, as normal like you get early access to all of my um, work and I did want to mention that I changed the $30 tier so I'll be offering um, watercolor originals instead of coaching so I yeah it's gonna be watercolor originals uh, of I guess my choice um, and or I'm, I'm also open to suggestions as well so it's got free shipping, $30 tier, um, and you get a watercolour original once a month. And I've limited that so not to overwhelm me either. So I know I work pretty quickly with watercolours and just in general I guess, but yeah I thought that'd be pretty cool because I'd like to start doing more watercolour stuff and learning more and stuff like that. Anyway, so the link is in my description if you want to join there. Um, if not, I've got Instagram and Facebook. Instagram pushed one of my posts out today, so it's like super exciting that I push, pushed one post out. Um, crazy. And um, yeah, Instagram, Facebook, Creatures of Nat, and my shop, creaturesofnat.com. And uh, I'll probably catch you in the next one. And yeah, thanks for watching. Give it a like, if I'm subscribe, whatever. And um, yeah, catch you in the next one. Bye.